Well, this is definitely a good time to work on some projects at home, some do-it-yourself projects. And joining us via Skype with some ideas to help keep us busy and productive is effortless girl, Julie Lovin. And good morning, Julie. Good morning, how are you? Well, we are adjusting. How are you exactly. doing? Trapped at home with a three-year-old. <laughs> no, it's good, it's great. It's all this one-on-one -on -one time is awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm good. So um, what I've done today for this segment is create some DIY projects that you can do at home. Some people are literally quarantined at home, especially in North Carolina, so they can't really leave. And these, all the, all the items that I will be giving you in the two segments today are stuff that you have at your house already. So you don't have to go out, you don't have to order nothing. Um, so I, I guess I'll just get started. Um, yeah. I can't without having another person here. It's so weird. <laughs> but anyway, so what we're gonna do is make paper wreaths and I've already started on this one and it is just an old book and a wire coat hanger. So take your wire coat hanger and just open it up into a circle or I guess you could even do a square or a shape if you wanted. And I've started on this one so you can see, I left the wire oh, um, coat hanger hook so it already has a built-in hanger when you're um, done with your wreath. But this is easy, you don't need any glue. All you need to do is open up your old book and then take the page out. So just find the binding and like cut down and you'll see every book is a little bit different. But um, make punch up your paper like you're gonna throw it away and then open it back up just kind of you know messy and then fold it into an S shape. So okay. I just fold it into an S shape and then I'm gonna take that now and I'll show you like this and then fold it in half and then just scrunch it around, twist it around the wire. Uh -huh. And then there you go. And then squeeze all of the papers down. So you want it to be tight on the hanger and then just keep going. So the next page, scrunch it up fold it like a, a loose S, like a paper towel almost that you would get, you know, at a public restroom and then wrap it around the wire again and then twist. So, oh my goodness. Now, did you have to use a pretty big book? It looks like that was a pretty large book. Well, this book, actually, my great grandparents were Church of God ministers. So we have a treasure trove of hymnals and um, I just, took the binding off of an old hymnal and then took the once you take the binding off the sections come out just like this okay and then okay. just uh cut it up and, and you probably i won't use i've probably used half of a hymnal to make this book so old textbooks work great but um at, just keep pushing it really hard and you want the paper to be firm and it will stay and that's pretty like once it's done that's a cool Wrap. Um, here's another look for a wreath I actually have in my own home. And so what you want to do if you don't have a styrofoam ring, which most people don't have at home, is just cut an extra thick round like a tire or a donut of cardboard. Okay. And, okay. and then um, what I've done is taken the book pages again and wrap them into a little, um, you can see, just a curve and stapled them on to this. Oh, so, that is beautiful. At, and let me show you the one that I did and I'll also give you a tip. So this is the one that I made for my house and I um, just stapled it on and then once you're done with your stapling and you have your completed wreath, spray it with Lysol and set it out in the sun for a day. And the Lysol will actually darken the pages and give like an antique wow. weathered look. And it will also make it coronavirus free. So um, <laughs> you're doing yes. double duty. Sanitary but really the Lysol makes a big difference to make vintage pages look even more vintage. And that was the look that I was going for. But this is just staples you can use glue um i used a little bit of craft glue on some of the pieces that i had but this is just a cardboard ring and you can see the back and um you just kind of wrap the ends as you get more into the wreath you wrap the ends towards the bottom and this will be on the website um effortless girl too later today but these are easy they were completely free for me um probably for you too everybody's got wire hangers and probably some old books lying around so uh -huh. 
this is a great day project and what a cool present or what a cool, you know, wreath to put on your wall. Yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. And I really like that they're sheets of music too. I think that adds to the project. I think so. Like when I was going through the hymn book, I was like, I haven't seen that so long in forever. And so some of that was very nostalgic and very cool. Um, this wreath is made out of my dad's math book from college. Aww. So I don't even <laughs> like math, but anyway, it looked the the writing and the music notes on the paper just give a little added something. Textbooks have pictures and different things like that, so that's cool too. It's just kind of what it, use what you have. Don't go out. Yeah. And, I mean, some people can't go out and buy right now, yeah. but use use what you have. I love it. And Julie, you said you're at home with a three year old, so I bet they've been helping you crumple that paper, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is a good, good helper. Uh -huh. He is a great helper for crumpling paper right now, but such is the age. But uh -huh. yeah, he, so it, it's, it's a fun time for everybody. <laughs> I know, I know. We are adapting day by day. Julie, some wonderful ideas. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay Thanks healthy, so stay cool safe. Too. Bye, everybody. All right, we'll give everybody the website. Don't forget, you can always check it out. She's got other great projects on there as well. Here it is. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.